where I'm at now is all the ones I want to keep and enjoy and yeah, they're not going anywhere. Hello, my name's Harry and I have a retro rally chopper collection. So I got my first one when I was 15. My mum and dad bought it me and then it's all just gone mad since then. I haven't stopped collecting them and I keep trying to get more and better collection all the time. After having my first one, I always wanted to get a better collection, get the more rarer models and just went on from there. I tried to get the best of the models, the best colours, best spec, best condition. And now I've got to that point where I'm quite at the top of the chopper scene and what bikes I want. The rare ones, I've got a gold one, which came from Sweden. There's only a few of them about in that colour. It's a really rare model, it's three plus two spec. I got it from a, the original owner in Sweden. He was really helpful with me getting it here. And it's, yeah, I had a really good buy with it and it's worth a good few thousand. I've also got a 10 speed, which is like brand new, probably one of the rarest models and the most desirable. People love it because it's got 10 gears. It's the highest spec bike you can get. And mine is probably one of the top three in the, which we know of. It's, I've been offered some crazy money for it, eight, nine thousand pounds, but it just means a lot to me and it's probably the best one I'm ever going to get. So then I've got the special edition Jubilee SE version, which is a really mint original, not messed with, and that's probably one of my best ones as well. As well as just collecting them and having them in the room, I show them quite a bit. I take them to shows, take them to ride outs, we have little competitions, I clean them a lot, I spend hours and hours stripping them, cleaning them, rebuilding them and then they just go in the collection and I just look at them and enjoy them, but I do take them out quite a bit. So it's a really great scene, there's loads of cool people which we meet, we go to the shows, we all enjoy them, we just, we just love the bikes, we love talking about them, all the rear models, what we find, how we build them, all the parts we've come across. It's just great, we've all got our own stories, we've all got great collections. I, I'm not one of the best, I just love what I have and we all enjoy them for different reasons. Some of us like restored stuff, which is mint. I like original stuff. I don't like painting the bikes, I'd rather them original, showing their age, their patina probably. Some people think that, oh, they're a bit rusty, but I just like showing the age and like keeping them how they used to be. I've got about 40 bikes and I've probably spent around 40 grand on them. I let a few people ride them. I've let Melissa, she has a few goes on them. My dad's ridden one, he's come on a few rides with me. He enjoys them. My parents love the fact that I do it. It's something different and I, they really enjoy the hobby and enjoy my collection. And my girlfriend's quite forgiving as well. She doesn't mind too much. She lets me have them all in the house and she puts up with quite a lot. When I started collecting, they were all in my mum and dad's house. They didn't mind, but it got a bit too much at one point. So when I had my first house, I made its own room for them. Started displaying them, got most of them there, but still asked my mum and dad if I could keep a few there. I think they're happy with it, they seem okay. Melissa let me make my own room with a secret door, so it's not visible to everyone, it doesn't ruin our house as such. But she's happy with that and I get my own little room where I get to see and keep them, so it's all good. I'd never sell my collection, I've regretted too much. I even let one or two go sometimes and I've made some bad choices when I've done mine in the past. So yeah, where I'm at now is all the ones I want to keep and enjoy and yeah, they're not going anywhere. So yeah, I love having them at home. I love having the balcony, the garden. Sometimes I pop them out there, go on the balcony, and yeah, I've got to see for you and that, but having the bikes out there is pretty cool too.